Hi, welcome to my channel. At kung bago ka lang dito, ay huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at pindutin lang ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa aking mga bagong math tutorial videos. Today class, ang pag-aaralan natin ay solving problems involving theorems on trapezoid. So isa-isain muna natin ulit ang mga theorems on trapezoid. Theorem number 6. The median of a trapezoid is parallel to its base and its length is one half the sum of the length of the vases. Theorem number 7. The base angles of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. Theorem number 8. Opposite angles of an isosceles trapezoid are supplementary. Theorem number 9. The diagonals of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. So, mahalaga class na kabisado natin itong mga theorems dahil ito ang makakatulong sa atin sa pag-solve ng mga problems involving trapezoid. So, proceed tayo sa example. Quadrilateral mat is an isosceles trapezoid with bases line segment MA and line segment HT. And line segment LB is a median. So, number one given Line segment MA is equal to 3Y minus 2. Line segment HT is equal to 2Y plus 4. And line segment LB is equal to 8.5 cm. For letter A, what is the value of Y? Letter B, how long is line segment MA and line segment HT? Sagutan natin class yung letter A. What is the value of y? So, para masagutan natin to, i-analyze muna natin yung ating given. So, yung given natin, uh, line segment MA is equal to 3y minus 2. So, ito po yung ating line segment MA. Then, line segment HT is 2y plus 4. So, nandito naman po yung ating line segment HT. And then, line segment LB is 8.5 cm. Nandito, siya yung ating median. So, ibig sabihin, class, pwede natin gamitin dito yung theorem number 6. Ano ba yung theorem number 6? The median of a trapezoid is parallel to its base and its length is one half the sum of the length of the bases. Ibig sabihin, yung median daw natin, class, ay equal sa kalahati ng sum ng ating dalawang base. So, ito yung gagawa natin ng equation. So, magkakaroon tayo ngayong class ng line segment LB is equal to the one half of the sum of line segment MA and line segment HT. So, kung mapapansin nyo class, yung equation natin na ito ay galing mismo doon sa ating theorem number 6. So, yung line segment LB is our median. At yung line segment MA and line segment HT naman, yun yung ating mga Basis. Next, substitute lang natin class yung given sa ating equation. So, yung line segment LB natin is 8.5 cm. And line segment MA is 3Y minus 2. And line segment HT is 2Y plus 4. So, magkakaroon ngayon tayo ng 8.5 is equal to 1 half times the quantity of 3Y minus 2 plus 2Y plus 4. Then, solve natin class. Combine muna natin yung like terms dun sa loob ng ating parenthesis. So, 3y plus 2y is 5y. And negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2. Kaya po magiging 8.5 is equal to 1 half times the quantity of 5y plus 2. Next naman class, apply natin yung uh, multiplication property of equality. Multiply both sides by 2, so magiging 17 is equal to 5y plus 2. Next is subtraction property of equality. Subtract both sides by 2, so 15 is equal to 5y. Then last, divide, uh, divide both sides by 5. So apply natin dito class yung division property of equality. Divide both sides by 5, so y is equal to 3. Next, letter B. How long is line segment MA and line segment HT? 
So, para makuha natin class yung measure ng line segment MA and line segment HD, sa substitute lang natin yung value ng Y. So, matatandaan natin class sa given natin, line segment MA is equal to 3Y minus 2. So, papalitan lang natin yung value ng Y. So, dun sa nakuha natin value kanina. So, magiging 3 times the quantity of 3 minus 2. So, 3 times 3 is 9. And 9 minus 2 is equal to 7. So, meron tayo class na 7 cm sa line segment MA. So, dun naman tayo sa uh, line segment HT. So, line segment HT natin is 2Y plus 4. So, ganun din ang gagawin natin class. Uh, substitute the value of Y. So, 2 times the quantity of 3 plus 4. So, 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. So, 10 cm yung ating line segment HT. Next, number 2. Angle HMA is equal to 115 degree. So, sa letter A natin, what is the measure of angle TAM. So, bago natin sagutan yan, class, tingnan muna natin kung nasaan ba yung ating given angle. So, angle HMA. So, nandito po yung ating angle HMA. And then, yung angle TAM naman, nandito. So, pwede natin, class, gamitin dito yung theorem number 7. So, ano ba yung theorem number 7? The base angles of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. So, ibig sabihin, class, magkaparehas yung sukat ng ating angle HMA and angle TMA. So, ibig sabihin, yung angle TMA natin, class, is also 115 degree. Proceed tayo, class, sa ating number 3. So, measure of angle MHT is equal to 3x plus 10. And measure of angle MAT is 2x minus 5. Letter A, what is the value of X? For letter B, what are the measures of the two angles? So, sagutan muna natin ulit class yung letter A. What is the value of X? So, una, alamin muna natin ulit kung nasan class yung ating mga given angles. So, yung angle MHT, nandito. At ito naman class yung ating angle MAT. At kung mapapansin nyo class, yung given angles natin ay opposite angles. So, pwede natin gamitin dito si theorem number 8. So, theorem number 8, opposite angles of an isosceles trapezoid are supplementary. Meaning, yung sum ng ating given angles ay equal sa 100 80 degree. So, gagawal lang din natin ito ng equation. So, angle MHT plus angle MAT is equal to 180 degree. Pagkatapos, eh, sa substitute natin class. So, sa measure ng angle MHT, meron tayong 3x plus 10. Doon naman sa uh, angle MAT, MAT, 2x minus 5. Kaya po magiging 3x plus 10 plus 2x minus 5 is equal to 180 degree. So, dito class, pwede na natin tong isolve. So, isa-isa natin para mas lalo nyong maintindihan. So, combine muna natin class yung like term. So, 3x plus 2x is equal to 5x. Next naman, uh, 10 plus negative 5 is equal to positive 5. Kaya po magiging plus 5. Then, bring down natin yung 180. Uh, next step natin, class, gagamitan natin ng subtraction property of equality. Subtract both sides by 5. So, magiging 5x is equal to 175. Next naman class, division property of equality, divide both sides by 5. So, magiging x is equal to 35. Next, letter B. What are the measures of the two angles? So, para masagutan natin ito, isa substitute na lang natin class yung value ng x. So, for angle MHT, 3x 
plus 10. So, papalitan lang natin, class, yung value ng x. Gagawin natin 35. So, magiging 3 times the quantity of 35 plus 10. And 3 times 35 is 105. So, 105 plus 10 is equal to 115 degree. So, doon naman tayo, class, sa angle M. AT. So, angle MAT, 2x minus 5. Ganon din ang gagawin natin. So, yung x, gagawin natin 35. So, 2 times 35 minus 5. And 2 times 35 is 70. So, 70 minus 5 is equal to 65 degree. Okay, next number. Number 4. So, given uh, line segment AH is equal to 4Y minus 3. And line segment MT is equal to 2Y plus 5. So, letter A, what is the value of Y? And for letter B, how long is its diagonal? So, unahin lang natin ulit class sagutan yung ating letter A. What is the value of Y? And since diagonal naman yung ating given class, yung theorem number 9 naman yung magagamit natin dito. So, theorem number 9, the diagonals of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. So, yung magiging equation natin dito class ay 4y minus 3 is equal to 2y plus 5. Then, combine natin class yung like terms. So, magiging uh, 2y is equal to 8. Then, divide both sides by 2 y is equal to 4. And for letter B, how long is each diagonal? So, dito class, substitute lang natin ulit yung nakuha nating value ng y. So, line segment AH is equal to 4y minus 3. So, magiging 4 times the quantity of 4 minus 3. So, 4 times 4 is 16. So, 16 minus 3 is 13. Sa kabila naman class ay uh, MT or line segment MT is equal to 2Y plus 5. So, palitan lang natin yung value ng Y. So, magiging 2 times the quantity of 4 plus 5. So, 2 times 4 is 8 and 8 plus 5 is equal to 13. So, hanggang dito na lang class. Kung meron po kayong hindi naiintindihan at meron po kayong gustong itanong, uh, ilagay lang po sa ating comment section at isa-isa po natin niyang sasagutin. Muli, maraming salamat sa panonood. God bless.